Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. This is Ed McMahon, along with Tommy Newsom and the NBC Orchestra, inviting you to join Johnny and his guests, Willie Nelson, Jimmy Brogan, and from rags to riches, Joseph Bologna. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny. <laughs> Down. This is not a press conference. <laughs> well, we uh, made some mistakes during last night's monologue, and I wouldn't go down that road again. <laughs> now, that's the best looking outfit you've worn in a long time. Last time when you filled in for Doc, I walked out, we heard exactly the same thing, Ellen? We, we, don't we always? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming. We got a good show. You want to have some fun after the show tonight? Yeah. As soon as you get home, send a letter to Ed McMahon with your picture on it. <laughs> hey, where is, where is the good doctor tonight? He's playing with the uh, Symphony of the Pacific. The Symphony of the Pacific? That would be out here, I guess, on, on the West Coast. <clears throat> Costa Mesa. Costa Mesa, California. Yes. Is that a, is that a, a symphonic orchestra? And he's quite a fine orchestra. Yeah. Excuse me? Quite a fine orchestra. A fine orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy is a great musician, but kind of a lonely. <laughs> Tommy is the only guy who knows that a neon sign in front of his house that says, Jehovah's Witnesses Welcome. in high school he had a surrogate prom date. Now that's long. <laughs> I know why you're in a good mood tonight. Tomorrow, I, actually about I think 7.52 Pacific time tonight, tonight is officially the first day of spring. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ah, spring. That's the time of year that a young man's fancy turns to thoughts of the good old days when love was safe. <laughs> How many of you watched the president's press conference last night? <laughs> and that's just his cabinet. I mean, well, well it was, uh, the president wanted to start on a, a kind of an upbeat note because he's been under a lot of pressure, as you know, but I think they went too far with the introduction. Live from the East Room, it's Thursday night. <laughs> Since you didn't see it, you missed that. <laughs> just about an hour ago, they just carried Sam Donaldson away. He was still asking questions. <laughs> now, since you didn't see it, I'll fill you in on what happened. You, maybe you read about it in the paper this morning. Uh, all of the women reporters wore red dresses, most of them. You know why? <laughs> Apparently before, when one of the women reporters wore a red dress, the president recognized her. So all of the women reporters were wearing red last night. And it worked so well that Schultz and Weinberger are going to wear red dresses to the next cabinet meeting. <laughs> now the pro Not if it doesn't come from the heart. Don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it out of sympathy, folks. That's <laughs> now the press was pretty good last night. They all asked intelligent, probing questions, except the National Enquirer. Guy stood up and asked the president, wanted to know if Sybil Shepherd's twins were conceived by some alien life force. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> you know, it's the Shaughnessy, one, uh, out of all the jokes, there's always one that Shaughnessy laughs at that nobody else <laughs> laughs at. 
Cerebral, okay. Uh, <laughs> why that one, I don't know. Uh, now, next month is April. D have you got the new tax form? It was supposed to be so simple. Yeah. Oh. The, what does it call it? W? W4. Do you understand it at all? <laughs> it's worse than what they had. It's supposed to simplify it. Why don't they just give us uh, the country's address and we can send the money directly to them? <laughs> Taxes are just our way to uh, pay to keep Oliver North supplied with good-looking secretaries. <laughs> Have we checked on Fawn Hall, see if we can get her yet? Okay. We keep checking with Fawn Hall, we'll see if she'll come on the show, but... You sure? She's a fan of yours, sir. What? She's a fan of yours, sir. Hello? Yeah. How, do, how do you know this? She said, or her people said, her, her lawyer said. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's a word I recognize. Okay. <laughs> Forget fun entirely. <laughs> How many of you watched Good Morning America today? <laughs> How many of you folks got a television set in your house? <laughs> the president didn't do good, and Good Morning America got nothing. <laughs> PLO leader Yasser Arafat was on Good Morning America. Apparently he's making the television circuit or something. And he's plugging, apparently, his new line of designer tablecloths. <laughs> How many of you are watching this show this minute? <laughs> okay. I'm beginning to feel like Good Morning America with the president. Anyway, we've got a great show for you tonight. One of my favorite people, Mr. Willie Nelson. Of course, Willie is uh, the son that Ozzie and Harriet never talked about. <laughs> hey. Willie, you know, has duetted, I guess, with, uh, did he duet with Diana Ross? And he duetted with Julio Iglesias? He has a new duet he just cut, recorded with the Surgeon General. <laughs> and it goes something like this. To all the girls I've loved before, too bad we can't do that no more. <laughs> Catch you. Okay. Hey. okay, along with Willie Nelson. Along with Willie, a very funny young man who's been with us before, uh, Jimmy Brogan, comedian, and a very fine actor, Joseph Bologna, is with us tonight. There we are. We'll be That's amazing. One day you'll be sailing along on an even keel, and the next day something happens just throws you off completely. Last night the phone system here conked out, just uh, died. So it's 10 o'clock at night, and, uh, and no one can get through. So I tried contacting the uh, service people, and I keep getting this uh, recording. I call back 9 to 5. I've got people all over this country with stories of trying to get in touch with me. I've got, uh, I've got a room full of reporters sitting around here like stuffed animals, and I got no classifieds. I mean, the people here, they can't even uh, phone in their ads. So there go our revenues. It's a nightmare. is available in Memphis, Tennessee at Foster Hyundai. The incredible Hyundai is so affordably priced with seven models under $7,000 that no other car in its class can touch it. But Hyundai makes only as much sense as where you buy it. Foster Hyundai on Covington Pike, just north of I-240. I want you as a Hyundai customer. Welcome to Tipton's College of Appliance Knowledge. In these hallowed halls, you'll learn about name brand appliances. We'll even help you earn a degree in saving money. And now during Tipton's All Appliance Sale, you can save on every appliance. Yes, every refrigerator, freezer, washer, dryer, dishwasher, microwave, and air conditioner is on sale now. So come to Tipton during our All Appliance Sale and get an education in savings. Congratulations. Avanti 10 cubic foot refrigerator freezer 229.
you, Tommy, and the great NBC Orchestra. Yes. Thank you. If our audience has seemed exceptionally boisterous this week, it's because we're in March break, when students across America get one week off to study hard for their upcoming exams. Now, because many of the students <laughs> do their homework while watching our program, The Tonight Show would like to help our student viewers with their homework assignments as we present the Homework School of the Air. And here to answer your questions, a very smart man. This is a very smart man. He has a BA from NYU, an MA from MIT, a PhD from UCLA, and an outstanding vice warrant from the LAPD. <laughs> Won't you greet Professor John W. Carson? Professor, I have some letters Why, here. Why, no talking, please. All right, I have some letters here sent in by our student viewers. That's why we're here. Proceed. All right. An eighth grade student from Chicago. Eighth grade from Eighth where? grade, Chicago. Chicago. A geography question. How would you prove that the earth was round? I would dribble it. <laughs> This next one's from a sixth grader in South Dakota. We start slow. He asks, what happened December 7th, 1941? That was the day, of course, the Japanese attacked the San Fernando Valley. Profe <laughs> Professor, the Japanese never attacked the San Fernando Valley. Then how do you account for all those photo mats along Ventura Boulevard? <laughs> you think they just grew there? An animal husbandry student wants to know, what is the leading cause of death among rabbits? The drugstore was closed. A college sophomore studying anthropology asks, what really killed the dinosaurs? What really killed the dinosaurs was the one about the traveling Tyrannosaurus and the Brontosaurus's daughter. Got them every time. <laughs> They broke up at that, <laughs> fell off a rock. A killed them. A student from Fordham College, majoring where, in where? art. Fordham. Fordham College. Majoring in art asks, who painted the Sistine Chapel? I don't recall that, but I do know who installed the aluminum siding around the Alamo. <laughs> Sabatino Brothers. Sabatino Brothers. Here's one from a sixth grade student in history. Is it true the United States of America is named after the explorer Amerigo Vespucci? That's a common error. Oh. What? I said, oh. <laughs> It was actually named after a real estate developer in Boston, Walter United States. <laughs> An American history student from Baton Rouge has a question. Mm -hmm. Who came after Lincoln? John Wilkes Booth's wife. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. That's what Booth was so peeled about. Most people don't know oh, that. Really? Yes. A sixth grader from Seattle needs to know, why did the slaves pick cotton? Because it holds a better crease than gabardine. A high school junior from Brooklyn writes, has there ever been a president of the United States of Italian ancestry? No. We don't want someone pinching Margaret Thatcher's behind. That's why. <laughs> don't write in. What is the uh, Dow Jones average? Beg your pardon? I said, what is the Dow Jones average? About three times a week. <laughs> Unless Mrs. Jones pulled a calf muscle at the aerobics class or something. <laughs> On the average, about three times. An amateur ornithologist asks... An amateur what? Ornithologist. 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 Uh, not asks, ornithologist. Well, they spelled it wrong on the ah, letter. Right. Why do swallows return every year to Capistrano? Well, the Mater D always gets them a good table. The ambience is great. They pour a nice drink. <laughs> Next letter. This won't be much longer. <laughs> We're trying to make a living. <laughs> Nothing more. But Nothing more or less than that. Why did scientists save Einstein's brain? I, did, I didn't hear that one. Why did scientists save Einstein's brain? Well, you wouldn't ask that if you've seen the price of racquetballs lately. <laughs> A high school English student would like to know... <laughs> high school English student. Yes. How do you split an infinitive? You let Raymond Burr try it on. <laughs> Here's a question from an aspiring mathematician. What is trigonometry?
Trigonometry. Trigonometry. That's what Roy Rogers' horse is stuffed with. <laughs> a computer graduate student writes, I will soon be looking for a job. Where is Silicon Valley? In Mario Hemingway's chest. And if you visit there, send me a postcard. Okay. <laughs> a biology student from San Diego writes, what causes males, whales rather, what causes whales, <laughs> not males, what causes whales to mate? <laughs> Huge black Fredericks of Hollywood garter belts. <laughs> a letter from an English major asks, English major? Yes. What should I do about a dangling participle? You wear a long coat, nobody will notice it. <laughs> and that's all the time you have. We hope you've all learned something. I've learned something. We've learned something during this, haven't we? Have we learned something? Yes, we, yes, have. we have. Not to do this too often. <laughs> we'll be right back, right after this message. The naturalness of some foods is obvious. With others, you may need more information. So about the coffee you're drinking, if it's smooth, satisfying Sanka, it's decaffeinated 100% naturally. In fact, it's the only leading coffee decaffeinated with pure mountain water and natural effervescence. If you prefer naturalness in the things you eat and drink, it's obvious you'll prefer Sanka naturally decaffeinated coffee. Feeling kind of blue, things have never been duller. What you need, baby, is a sale full of color. The JCPenney Day Sale. Color for the house, for the kids, take your pick. We got it all, baby, in the colors to click. Like an all-cotton sweater, fits just fine. Comes in lots of colors, just $11.99. Add zip to your house, give your windows a kick. With the hottest selling draperies in the colors to click. JCPenney Day Sale, now only once a year. JCPenney. Karis Nissan is the only Nissan dealer offering you a choice. Get this 1987 Stanza four-door e-model or this new 200 SX XE five-speed for just $195 a month. And you get $500 cash back now through Monday night. Your can-do dealer is Jim Karras Nissan on Covington Pike. Your can-do dealer, can-do. When you've got a cold or the flu, a big store can be a real headache. But Super D is a big store that's a little different. Bless you. Thank you. Mr. Brown, your prescription's ready. Already? And along with some of the lowest prescription prices in town, Super D also has super low prices on other medicines. I'll take one of each. Because when you've got a cold or the flu, the last thing you need is another headache. Hope you feel better, Mr. Brown. Achoo! Bless you. Super D, a big store made a little smaller. Okay, we're back, folks. <laughs> now, nobody saw the president last night. Nobody saw Good Morning America. <laughs> Take another poll here, as long as we're here. How many of you would like to see us do homework school of the year again? <laughs> okay, my next guest... <laughs> <laughs> There's only one spring break a year. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're not, next we don't have to do that too often. Uh, I think you could probably describe Willie Nelson as a contemporary American folk hero. He's, um, he's, he's dynamite. He's currently starring in the movie Red-Headed Stranger, and he'll be performing in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace March 25th through the 3rd of April. And he's going to open tonight, I think, with the title song from the soon-be-released album called Island in the Sea. Would you welcome Mr. Willie Nelson and friends? <laughs> as I could have Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have If 
I could, I could easily sit through a couple hour, two or three hour concert with you. Really. Let's go do I'm, it. I'm that big a fan of yours. <laughs> well, I could hardly get here to work today. Drove to work here this afternoon at NBC. Almost didn't get into my parking spot. I looked out in the parking lot and I see these four huge buses. And I thought the tour was coming from Knott's Berry Farm or something. <laughs> that's not thought. That's all of your. Uh, yeah, we have four. Where you of travel, those. right? Four of those and. Uh, there's a lot of guys on the road have a lot more buses than this. Is that right? Yeah, there's some of those rock and roll guys got 12 and 15 You're kidding. Buses. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are standard, what, a Greyhound or Trailways buses, I guess, right? Yeah, they, these are from uh, uh, the Florida Coach Company. Yeah. And they lease them, they own a bunch of buses, buses, and they own 40 or 50 of them, so. Uh, you like traveling that way? Yeah. What do you got on them? I know you said you didn't need a dressing room when you showed up today, because you got dressing room and facilities and everything right on yeah. the bus? It's it's like being at home, really. It's mobile home. You got a, got a kitchen? Got a kitchen, microwave, a table, and uh Tape television, discs, CD, uh, all of the whole stuff. The whole thing, yeah. Yeah. Now, how fast can you travel on the road? Now, they just they just upped the speed limit today in the United States in rural areas. The rural area out here is Ventura Boulevard. <laughs> it's about a mile from here. As I found out coming to work, somebody thought they'd, it was in Ventura. Um, those things move along pretty good, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys keep it at 55, I suppose? Oh, of course, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Out in Nevada, especially in Nevada. Yeah. Look, we'll take a break. We're coming right back. <laughs> for 
wasn't real food. Thief, real food for real people. It's the same thing. It is not. I can't drink my coffee without my sweet and low. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Sweet and low. For millions of people, there's just no equal. East Hyundai, the Mid-South's number one volume Hyundai dealer, says, we've got to turn them to earn them. The more Hyundais we sell, the more Hyundais we get. This means better deals for you at East Hyundai because we've got to turn them to earn them. At East Hyundai, we're jammed to the fences with every style, color, and option you want on your new Hyundai. Our volume buying means volume dealing and huge savings for you. At East Hyundai, we've got to turn them to earn them. Come get your best deal now at East Hyundai, 6440 Winchester, just east of the Hickory Ridge Mall. Take a spin. Have a fling. Come on in. Get into spring. But hurry, because tomorrow's the last day of Tallheimer's Big Spring Sale. Fashions for you, your family, and home with selected savings of 25% and more. So finding what you want on sale is a piece of cake during Tallheimer's Big Spring Sale. Last day tomorrow. Doors open tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm Nancy McCann. Ever seen those contests win a dream date with so-and-so? Well, read the fine print. Or you might end up posting Friday Night Videos with Michael Damien. We're for rats to riches, and we can't wait. We're posting NBC Saturday morning, and it's gonna be great! Yeah! Getting your car fixed at closing time can be quite an experience. See it! Bill King's Braco treats you and your car with the same care and consideration at 5 till 6 as when they open up in the morning. Believe it! At Braco, you do us a favor by stopping by, not the other way around. We believe in working at your convenience, not ours. Seeing is believing. Bill King's Braco. You know, at first I thought John was the loser. He lost his job, the savings. Then he lost the car, the house, and his self-respect. Then after one time too many with cocaine, he lost his life. Now it's over for John. He can't lose anymore. But it's not over for us. We're the losers now. And we miss him. Are you losing someone to cocaine? Call Eastwood for some answers. 369-8190. Cadillacs are taking Memphis by storm, and we want to sell you a Cadillac. From DeVille, the number one selling luxury car in Memphis, to Brome, the longest luxury car in the world. Cadillac Seville's in Eldorado's sticker price less than last year. Factory to dealer incentives make it possible for your Cadillac dealer to pass along significant savings. No wonder we're outselling every competitor in our class. Buy or lease a Cadillac today from one of your Mid-South Cadillac dealers. We want your business now. Watch Hunter tomorrow night at 9 on TV5. Okay, guys, we're back. We're talking to Willie Nelson. Are you on tour right now? You're going up to play Las Vegas, I know, but... Yeah, we're playing the uh, amphitheater here at Universal Amphitheater. Oh, great. How many days a year are you on the road? You like being on the road, don't you? Yeah, we work probably 250 days a year. Mostly one-nighters and sometimes... Mostly one-nighters. Of course, we work Vegas. Yeah, do you ever get tired of that? That's a grind. You yeah, seem, you seem to thrive I, on it, though. I threaten to quit every, after every tour, <laughs> yeah. and then I go back and drink. I'm off a few days, and I'm ready to go. You get charged up every time you go to a new location? I get charged up every night on the show. The yeah. audience are good, and we're having a good time. Yeah, it shows. You've, you've undergone some transformation. Now, when you were in high school, I remember seeing your high school yearbook picture. <laughs> and you look like you look like little Lord Farley, right? And a nice little tie and a suit, and you're... The hair was short. Uh, when did you... You've gone through various transformations. Sometimes you have a hat, sometimes the hair is longer. Just depending on how you feel. It just depends on how I feel that day, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, it's an impulsive thing. Sometimes I'll get up and shave, and sometimes I won't. <laughs> yeah. We, <laughs> and why not? One of your albums that I loved, when you did, uh, you did an album of standards. 
which was kind of a you right. did Stardust, Blue Skies, uh, Sunny Side of the Street, Stardust, and all of those, right. which was kind of a change for you, right? Yeah. Because the image was really a country of Western folk and so forth. You going to make another one of that? Because it, it turned out beautifully. I sure would like to. The uh, thing about it is, is I pick my ten favorite songs to go in that album, and then you start picking the next album, and uh, you... And uh, there are no more Stardust. Uh, yeah. really. There's a lot of good songs, but Stardust and Moonlight and yeah. Vermont and Georgia and all those songs are it's impossible to yeah. find another tin like that. Yeah, a lot of good stuff out there. When you're on the road now, there, there are groupies. You know, the rock stars have groupies. I'm sure you do. And, you know, women come up when you're on the road and want more, I suppose, than just your autograph. Mm -hmm. How do you handle it? I try to give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gentlemanly thing yeah, to do. Well, I mean, my gosh, you'd be... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, how do you kill the time on the bus? Do you write? You... I, sometimes I read, or I, we have a video golf game on there. We play yeah. we play chess and dominoes and uh, listen to tapes and yeah. watch television. What's the story? Somebody told me you wrote about ten songs once. When, when, were you, when you did this in a strange... It was a very <laughs> strange evening. Uh, we needed an album, and I didn't have anything written. And, yeah. uh, it was the night before. You're so. kidding. You needed an album, you had no, no material. So I wrote the, uh, it was yesterday's wine album. I was, I was on RCA. And you just sat down and? Oh, yeah. And uh, I've never done that before or since, but that one night I wrote 10 all songs. The, all the juices are coming. They wasn't all. You know. <laughs> what do you tell people? This is a common thing with musicians. You know, everybody in the country, I think, thinks they're an amateur songwriter. And want to write songs, you know, and they do, and I'm sure they send them to you. Do you what do you say to them? Do you try to encourage them, or do you say, "Look, it's a tough thing to do, and one out of a thousand, or maybe ten thousand, has any any merit to it"? No, I really try to encourage them because it wouldn't do any good to discourage them if yeah. they're really uh, out there to try to do it. If they really have some talent, uh, they're going to get there, well, no matter what you tell them. I think. Yeah. But uh, I surely wouldn't want to discourage anybody. Because you never know where the next good thing is going to come from. Absolutely. Okay, I know you're going to have to leave right after your next number. Is this? Uh, what are you going to do for us? I have a new song. I was uh, over in Maui, and I wrote a song about uh, the islands over there. So. Really? Okay, it's all yours, Willie. Thank you. I am a roving cowboy Riding all along And for such a Roving cowboy, I've sure made myself at home. I love your sunshine, I love your flowers, I love your ocean rolling in. And for such a roving cowboy, I've sure made myself a friend. I am a cowboy, I am a sailor, I have drifted far and wide. Seven ocean, I have crossed the great divide. And if you're ever looking for me, let me tell you where I'll be. I'll be somewhere soaking up sunshine on my island in the sea.
of the 50 million dogs in America, a million will eat like never before. One dog in 50 will enjoy a diet with quality ingredients like chicken and more nutrition per ounce than any leading dog food. A diet of new Purina O.N.E., short for Optimum Nutritional Effectiveness, made for one dog in 50, because only one dog owner in 50 cares this much. New Purina O.N.E. brand dog food, for that one dog, yours. One memorable night. Thanks, Rob. At the Silver Bullet. Hey, you're Don Adams, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> one cause light, please. Would you believe? Two cause lights. Great. Ring, ring. Hello? It's for you, Don. Terrific. Ah, oh, thanks. Mind if I join you? Mind if I pour? Not at all. <laughs> Missed it by that much. There's no slowing That's down great. with the Silver Rob, Bullet you tonight. Know, I just did. When you need a doctor. Good morning. Med search. Yes, I need a doctor. And I you was. You have over a thousand me. good reasons to call Med Search, the free doctor locating service from Methodist Hospital. Referring over a thousand callers a month to the right doctor in the right location. An appointment today? Thanks. When you need a doctor, you have good reason to call Med Search. Finding more doctors for more people. Free. for you with the Toyota Standard Bed. It works as hard as you do. It takes on a big payload, but the price is easy to take. Looking out for number one. Right now, your Toyota dealer is looking out for you by passing along factory-to-dealer incentives so you can save even more money on Toyota trucks. Who could ask for anything more? Okay. He's a very funny young comedian. Jimmy's been with us uh, before. He appears regularly at both the Hollywood Improvisation and the Comedy Store. Would you welcome, please, Jimmy Brogan. Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you tonight? Oh, you, you sound terrific. Good. I'm in a good mood. I'm feeling thin, but good. And, uh... Yeah, let me just move this tie out of the way so you can see me. And, uh... Yeah, that's better, huh? Am I too thin, do you think? Yeah. Some, yeah, some, I'm 6'2", 139 pounds. Yeah, it's not easy to get closer to this in boy. I shop here in Hollywood at Mr. Pencil. Anyone else? <laughs> um, just me. Yeah. I'll tell you the amazing thing about these clothes. This is exactly how they look on the hanger. <laughs> too thin. But I've been trying to build up. I joined a health club and uh, been riding that exercise bicycle every day. Did 45 miles today. Felt like a kid again. Of course, I was up in the handlebar, someone else was pedaling, but, uh... <laughs> counts. And I'm wearing glasses now. Yeah, I don't really need them, but about a year ago, I went to the eye doctor, and he said to me, you know, you're not quite wimpy enough looking. <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> yeah, glasses, that'll complete the picture. That's <laughs> oh, thanks, Doc. I don't look like Dennis Menace's father. Oh, sure, that's funny to you guys. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to live this life. <laughs> anyway, I'm not from California. I grew up in the Midwest, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. The rest, yeah. Yeah, Cleveland, Ohio is my hometown, and uh, I like being a kid growing up there. Did you like being a kid? Yeah, I think there's too much pressure being an adult, isn't there? Because there, there's stuff I never learned as a kid. For instance, I had Kraft macaroni and cheese for dinner last night. It comes in that blue and yellow box, that little package of cheese in it. And I have a question about this product. Is it okay to eat those three noodles stuck in the glue in the bottom of the box? <laughs> no one ever told me if that was safe. Okay, I guess that's safe, but how about a bag of potato chips? Is it okay to eat that one little green potato chip comes in every bag? <laughs> you know, one you feed to the dog, and even he goes... <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a lot of pressure being an adult, it really is. I'm in charge of my own garbage disposal now, and boy, it's a frightening admission. Do you ever lose something out like a ring and have to reach your hand down there, fish around? You think the same thing I do as you reach in and think to yourself, now what if I flip out and turn on that switch? Oh. <laughs> what if I can't control my left hand? Oh, 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 oh. So I take no chance. I tie my left hand on my leg first before I reach in there. <laughs> then I'm still frightened. It might go on by itself. I go out the backyard, take all the fuses out of the fuse box. 
call the power company. Uh, listen, you turn off the west side for about an hour. <laughs> Make an hour and a half. I got a waffle stuck in the toaster. <laughs> See, I can put a metal fork directly in there. Thank you. Uh, it's scary being an adult. It really is. Uh, what else scares me? Uh, photomat stores. These things scare me. Because I'm always afraid I'll turn the corner too quick in the parking lot and I'll knock the store over. Uh, <laughs> it'll be lying in the side. Little feet come out of the bottom. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's scary being there. Yeah, what else scares me? Uh, those do not back up severe tire damage. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the same thing I do as you're going over to yourself? I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> That's true. What else scares me? Uh, bowling scares me. Not so much bowling, but renting those shoes. I mean, I don't mind wearing shoes that 800 other people have worn that day. But when you try them on, they're still warm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's... Get me out of there, taxi, please. You know, I don't understand that. And this ruins what's probably the best sport there is, bowling. Because I think bowling's the only sport you don't have to shower afterwards, isn't it? You get a little sweat on you, what do you do? Just go over that little blower thing? Oh, I feel refreshed. Uh, I could go another frame. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's scary, Bingham Doll. What else scared me recently? This movie Platoon, have you seen this? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, I had flashbacks of Canada. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's scary. Anyway, I was lying in bed this morning. I thought to myself, boy, it'd be great to be a kid again. Get up and put on my play clothes. And Maybe have Fruit Loops and Pepsi for breakfast. And <laughs> maybe have some Ovaltine with that. Then go ride my bike around the block for a while. Then go out to the backyard and light up a firecracker in a tin can, almost blow my eye out. And uh, <laughs> Then for lunch, have a peanut butter and potato chip sandwich. Maybe have some Ovaltine with that. Then go and play catch with the kid next door. See some girls coming and run the high because they're too shy to talk to them. Spend the rest of the afternoon trying to light a pile of leaves on fire with a magnifying glass. <laughs> almost burn the garage down. Then for dinner, have SpaghettiOs with little hot dogs cut up in them. Yeah. Maybe have some Ovaltine with that. Yeah. Then sit around watching TV all night, watching every show that's on, eating M&Ms and Tootsie Rolls and Snickers. Yeah. Maybe have some Ovaltine with that. Yeah. And then go to bed without brushing my teeth. <laughs> I thought to myself, boy, this would be great to be a kid again. Then I thought to myself, this is exactly how I live now. <laughs> Thank you very much for the morning, Roger. Breakfast to go. Cross sandwich. That's cross sandwich. Burger King, the best food for fast times. Hello. When Ed and I were studying the calendar for some more occasions to celebrate with the Bartles and James Premium Wine Cooler, we came across the name of Vernal Equinox. Well, you could have knocked us down with a feather, because we both knew Vernal as a little kid, and to tell you the truth, we never thought he'd amount to much. But I guess we were wrong. So be sure to celebrate Vernal Equinox's day with Bartles and James. It's on March 21st, which coincidentally is the same day as the beginning of spring. Thank you for your support. The unpopped kernel. Some microwave popcorns can leave you up to two tablespoons of these. But Pop Secret pops better. Pop Secret leaves fewer unpopped kernels, a lot fewer. Pop Secret from Betty Crocker. Domino's Pizza delivers quality. <laughs> it takes fresh baked quality to avoid the noise. We keep the noise out and all the quality in. So call Domino's Pizza now. Domino's Pizza delivers. When you order from Domino's Pizza, you get a hot, freshly baked pizza delivered to your door in 30 minutes or less, or we'll take $3 off the price of your pizza. Call now. You can do dealer in the scan -do. Jim Karras Nissan is the only Nissan dealer offering you a choice. Get this 1987 Stanza four-door E-model or this new 200 SX XE five-speed for just $1.95 a month. And you get $500 cash back now through Monday night. Your can-do dealer is Jim Karras Nissan on Covington Pike. 
Bologna is a very talented actor and also a writer. He's had a very long, successful career in television and uh, theater and in movies. Do you remember the uh, My Favorite Year? Yes. Richard Benjamin picture? Oh, yes. uh, he put me away in that. He's the star of a new series on NBC that airs Sunday nights at 8 o'clock called Rags to Riches. Would you welcome Joseph Bologna? <laughs> My favorite, that picture, we had Dick Benjamin on the show when that picture came out. And I sent him a note afterwards because he did a lot of it at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. You know, it's amazing. When I go back, like I was back in New York, I did the, the news show. Right. And I walked down that corridor, and it's amazing. It's, it's like deja vu. Yeah, and you play King Kaiser? I was the character. The name of the comp? Jeez, that was a funny, funny thing. You, how's the news show? It's doing well. It's, it's incredible. I mean, NBC is amazed that, um, <laughs> you know, it was so... <laughs> We're, you know, we're so used to, in this business, you know, doing a picture or something for, yeah. for $4 and standing out in front of the theater saying, Mr. Please, come in, I'll buy you popcorn. Right. I mean, it's great to be able to say, hey, we're, we're, it looks like we're a hit. I mean, we got, the, the pilot got, came in fourth for the week. That's uh, and not it was bad like for a, it. a 36 share. And, I, you know, these are th things I'm learning. You probably obviously know all this. I've been out for 30 years, and I'm still not sure I understand the rating system. But when you got good ratings, boy, do you believe in them. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're in the cellar, you say... Who pays attention to those, yeah. right? Well, evidently, I'm getting from them that these rating points translate into money. Right. Advertising dollars. So that means in that time spot, they usually get like a 25 from a two-hour right. movie. We got a 36. Right. And I think each rating point is worth, I don't know, two, three million dollars. So yeah. we made uh, NBC last week a good 35, 36 million dollars. You so going, John, going in for a raise this week? No, I, but there <laughs> might be a little something in your contract. This <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, yep. you want this place painted? <laughs> <laughs> Have you done a regular series before? I'm trying to remember. No, I never. I've never even done an episodic television show yeah. before, which is like guerrilla warfare. Yeah. Which must be, I don't know how you do this. Have you walk in so cool, calm, and you know, it's Yeah, but you guys start a, you start a lot earlier than we do. We come in, you know, the staff starts in the morning, and we, we crank it up late in the afternoon. But well, you, uh, when you uh, do the stuff every day, it's tough. I know. It's uh, like after it was, uh, we did seven episodes, and uh, somehow, some 14-hour days, and when it was over, I felt like the... Yeah. the the kids in London after the Blitz. Yeah, but I hope it yeah. runs because it, we got a clip. Is this from yeah. one of the upcoming shows or? Yes. Uh, Joe, the one we're going to show. Uh, right? this... Yeah, I think this is. I don't know if it's, it's either this week or next week's show. All right, this is going to give you this give you a little sense of uh, what you'll be saying on Rags to Riches. Diane. Diane. Uh oh. How come you're not playing golf? What difference does it make? Where's Diane? Uh, maybe she's at the library. The library? Diane, who's kidding who? Everybody's got to study sometime. The only thing Diane studies is her face. And she's with that Duke guy, isn't she? Come on, come clean. Why are you so uptight about them? Because I happen to think that those two are on the verge of... Nicky, go outside and play. <laughs> Why? Why? Because of this new rule that says when Nick Foley says something, the girls do it without arguing. Now go. On the verge of what? On the verge of um, two people I don't want to talk about. Nick, <laughs> we do know things. Sure. I studied in biology. You know, ovaries, fallopian tubes, the whole bit. Fallopian tubes? You know what they are? Of course I know what they are. Women have them. They're over here by the lungs. No. They're closer to the liver. Who cares where they are? I'm not interested in fallopian tubes. <laughs> and schools should stick to reading and writing instead of putting ideas in girls' minds with fallopian tubes. What is the big deal? Don't you know that boys her age have only one thing on their minds? I know. I was one of them. <laughs> Good scene. <laughs> I thought you learned something. Jim Kaiser lives. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. What, what was the, uh, the picture you did with uh, uh, Michael Caine? Uh, blame it on Rio. Gee, that was funny also. Yeah, it's great. Uh, th those British guys are great to work with. They're yeah. the real pros. They walk in, do their lines, and then Michael's very funny. Yeah. I'm sure I've got him on the yeah. show. He's very funny. I hope this is a big hit for you. Yeah. Funny stuff. You want to do this? Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We, how much time we got here? Let's go to commercial. Go to commercial first because 
One of the people from the Tonight Show is leaving the show after about 29 years, leaving NBC. And he's always wanted, this is not a joke, always wanted to be a big band singer. True. He's Dick Manley, our commercial coordinator. So we checked before the show and said, you're leaving tonight. How would you like to sing with the band? That's absolutely true. So we'll be right back after this. Wouldn't you like to sleep like a baby? Babies can sleep anywhere, on most anything. But grown-ups are different. I'm Ernest Williger. My company makes Stearns and Foster mattresses. They're firm, comfortable, and give us grown-ups a great night's sleep. So if you want to sleep like a baby, get the mattress made for grown-ups. Stearns and Foster. You can't get a better mattress or a better night's sleep. What's this? It sure is not our macaroni and cheese. Presenting Velveeta Shells and Cheese Dinners. Why did Mommy switch? Velveeta Shells and Cheese Dinners taste creamier because we start with creamy Velveeta cheese sauce, not a powder. We liked our old macaroni and cheese. With pasta shells that hold on to that creamy Velveeta. This tastes creamier than our old macaroni and cheese. I hope you learned your lesson. Velveeta Shells and Cheese Dinners taste creamier than the rest because it's Velveeta. Under this tent are the lowest price Mazdas in the Mid-South. The tent is up and the prices are down at Courtesy Mazda. Nothing but the lowest price Mazdas in the Mid-South. Mazda RX-7s, the new 4x4s, 626s, 323s, trucks. The lowest priced Mazdas in the Mid-South with Courtesy's discounts at Mazda's cash incentives. Courtesy Mazda, 2785 South Mendenhall. Nothing but the lowest priced Mazdas in the Mid-South. Sale ends March 31st. When they're gone, they're gone. At the Furniture Center, our goal is to offer you, our customers, the best values on top quality furniture. And during this sale, you can save over $400 on this living room group from Broyhill. Crafted for comfort as well as style, both sofa and love seat feature subtle print fabric and oversized scatterback pillows for real added comfort. Get both pieces for only $7.99, a price much lower than you'd expect. But you can always expect more for your money at the Furniture Center, so come see us. Okay, now, let me explain a little bit here. Dick Manley, Dick Manley uh, was working back in New York, uh, started with NBC in 1949. He's been with The Tonight Show for the 25 years, and this is his last week on the show. And uh, the last couple of years, we've had a talent contest uh, at the yearly annual Tonight Show party, and he got up once and sang with a band. He's had that fantasy of being a big band singer. So we put this together during the show and says, look, after 25 years, you ought to be able to come out and sing with a band. Now, they haven't rehearsed at all, right, Tom? But you got a chart? No. You have no chart. <laughs> okay, they have no chart on this, so these guys are just going to go from nothing. And would you welcome, please, singing his way into your heart, Dick Manley. Wow. 
that since... <laughs> I was in Barstow in about 1950 at the Rocket Lounge in about <laughs> 3 in the morning. But this has been a thrill of a lifetime. <laughs> well, I wish we could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> but folks, you got to remember this was done with no rehearsal. I think that's that's all. <laughs> I can see people at home. I don't believe that. They're, Harry, there was no rehearsal for this. Oh, my poor old mother. Well, anyway, you, you got it out of your system. I sure did, and yeah. I really appreciate you letting me do that. Uh, I listen to this type of music constantly at home. I have a vast collection. Well, why didn't you pay attention I... to it? <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've done this in front of a mirror. Uh, <laughs> Only Frank Sinatra was singing in the yeah. background. But that was fun. It was fun, wasn't it? I really enjoyed it. That yeah. was really fabulous. And I also want to say how much I've enjoyed working on the show all these years, Johnny. It's really been a pleasure, and um, I've just had a wonderful association well, with you and everybody else on the show. We're going to miss you. We really are. And you're going you're gonna to go to uh, Mid Middletown? Uh, uh, no, we're going to Williamsburg. Williamsburg, Virginia, right. right. Right in the heart of uh, early American history. Right. And you have a... So a singing job down there, do you? <laughs> After tonight, maybe I will. <laughs> anyway, that, that, that was fun. We're glad to do it. We should do Thank that you. every time somebody leaves. Fantasy time. You know, you wanted to sing? Well, some of the fantasies you can't show. Until yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing this staff. <laughs> be, be a great closing, though. Anyway, we want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, I really appreciate it. Great having that. you with us. Thank you so much. Um, Joe, the show is on uh, NBC Sunday? Sunday, 8 to 9. Sunday, 8 to 9. Thanks for being with us, really. I hope it's a, a big hit for you. And let's see. Next week, we have uh, just some of the people, right? The bookers are feverishly right now on the phones. <laughs> we have Patrick Duffy, John LaRiquette, Smothers Brothers, Rosie Clooney, Etta James, uh, Jim Fowler, uh, Dick Cavett, and many, many other people. Uh, if we can track them down, uh, they'll be here, too. Okay, good night. Thank you. Good luck, Dick. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Next, from Facts of Life, Nancy McKeon and young and restless Michael Damien team up to host a rockin' Friday Night Videos.